The important thing to remember about him is that even though Vietnam was called Lyndon Johnson's War, in fact, there are two books out right now with that same title by Larry Berman and by uh, uh, George Herring, Lyndon Johnson's War. And there are reasons to consider it Lyndon Johnson's War. Lyndon Johnson escalated it more steeply than any other president. It's during Lyndon Johnson's administration that the infamous Tonkin Gulf Resolution occurs in August of 1964 that provides a pretext for going to war in Vietnam. And, uh, um, and ultimately, it's during Lyndon Johnson's administration that we get the Tet Offensive with uh, you know, its, its, its shattering impact on America's morale and Johnson's own decision that he's not going to run for president. He announces this in March of 1968. Uh, so there are a lot of reasons for considering this Lyndon Johnson's war. There are a lot of reasons for not considering it Lyndon Johnson's war. He's not the one who made a commitment to keep part of French Indochina free from communism. That happened back when Harry Truman was president. He didn't recognize this new nation of South Vietnam as an ally that the United States had to protect. That happens when Dwight Eisenhower is president. Most of all, it's not Lyndon Johnson's war because Lyndon Johnson really doesn't want to fight it. Lyndon Johnson wants to concentrate on domestic policy. He grew up idolizing Franklin Roosevelt and he believed that Franklin Roosevelt's New Deal domestic reforms had been nipped in the bud by World War II and he wanted to carry them through to fruition with what he called his Great Society, a series of progressive measures for social justice, against racism, against poverty, uh, in favor of the environment, a variety of initiatives. That, uh, many of them were passed. Some of the most important uh, 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 legislative accomplishments in securing civil rights were passed during Lyndon Johnson's administration, but the war was always competing for funds. It was always a siphon. And uh, that is why ultimately Johnson's presidency is such a tragedy. Because when it came time to decide between the war in Vietnam and his Great Society programs, he chose not to decide. He believed America was rich enough to have both guns and butter, and that tragically mistaken decision, I think, is the tragic legacy of his presidency.